Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am the Ashley Whitby, the owner of Cosmic Ash Cosmetics. Today's vlog will be my self-care journey, the day I'm taking for myself on my day off and exploring the city of Dallas. I'm going to do my best to pamper myself and to get all the things that makes me feel good done. I really hope you all enjoy the vlog. It will be very brief of me just showing you views of Dallas. Coming from a small city, I really enjoy the architect of the buildings as well as the skylines and the scenery. I really hope you enjoy and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It's hair day. I'm super excited to be getting my hair done because this, <sighs> we're over it. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but do anybody else before they go into a hair appointment detangle their hair themselves because you tender headed and you don't want to have to do it because you don't want to cry. That is me and that is why I'm a lazy natural. I like to just be in control of my hair. And I know sometimes that don't always happen, but ever since I did my braid out and I added the mousse, my hair has just been so tangly. So I just want to make sure I just hate when you get your hair done and then they run that comb through it. Like, if you don't just wash my hair, you do not have to brush through it. When my hair is wet, it's so much easier to detangle. So that is what I'm going through right now. And I'm just using a paddle brush to make sure so this side is kind of all right. And then I have this side that I need to tackle. And sometimes it's just okay to do section by section, you know. You know what works best for you. I got my COVID booster shot. So my arm, my right arm is hurting very bad. But I gotta see it through. I gotta suffer through this pain before I let them do it to me. A lot of stylists do it to me because they you know they do a really good job here they're very gentle but i just like to take precautions because i am very tender-headed and that just would ruin my day to have them rip through my hair before washing it i just like to come already prepared i am having a little shedding problem i'm i don't know why i'm having a shedding problem actually um i do oil my hair a lot i know during the dry seasons um it tends to shed a lot so it's typical and as you can hear it's not really tangly because i haven't washed my hair since the last time i got it done because i've been doing different twist outs and styles and i just prefer to get it done professionally It's always this back, the back of my hair, which I didn't detangle, as you see. It is always just the worst. So I need to find a way to get to it as well. Always gotta make so I think I got it out to the best of my ability today is literally my off day so I'm just doing a little pampering of getting my hair done 
getting my eyebrows done and then i have a nail appointment after this appointment so been long overdue this is what i mean when i'm losing hair like i'm shedding bad granted it was hair in this brush already but i think this is a lot of hair to shed in the course of a month or so i know you shed 500 to 100 shafts but i guess when i wear my natural hair i just don't notice the shredding so it's a little concerning but my hair is still like so thick i don't see like any thinning anywhere so i don't know if it's just the weather i don't know if it's natural but i'm definitely going to ask when i go in there like i'm experiencing a lot of shedding like i'm brushing through again i don't really have as much so it could just be dead hair um that is just shedding off but i'll definitely play it by ear And my hair was flat ironed, so this is just with it with mousse and the braid outs and the flexi wrap set like afterwards. So that's why my hair isn't really as curly right now. And if I need a trim, I'm just gonna tell her go ahead and do the trim if I need it. this is what i do post appointment so let us pray <laughs> that this goes well the girl that i normally see she's not available because she won't be in town for the holiday weekend so i'm trying someone new at the same place so hopefully they do as good as she did last time because i felt like i looked so good last time but after <laughs> it's a one-time thing i just really need my hair done for the holiday I, since i can't see my family I just want to look cute i just want to sit at home and look cute so i always you know my loyalty will be back to the main girl who does my hair i just have to be unloyal this one month just because she's not working and i'm hoping for the best so that is another reason if my normal girl was doing my hair i would not be doing this because she's so gentle but because i'm going in with the unknown i honestly don't know how this person would detangle one thing about the blowout bar they all use similar techniques so that is why i decided to go ahead and continue with the appointment because they all like blow dry the same they have to use the same products and techniques so i'm just hoping for the best and yeah hopefully i don't look crazy going in there like this I did work out so my roots are a little softer and that's typically what I do and then I just listen to my podcast right now and then at 10 45 I'll go in my appointment's at 11 I try to go in a little earlier so they start a little earlier and you see I'm tired this arm is just hurting but I gotta keep going just to make sure next time you see me i'll be looking fabulous i want to know if my hair has grown since it's shedding so bad but we'll see looks like this side is longer than this side but i just think i detangled this side better than i did this side see y'all when I come back when I think I'm looking flawless and we are back I don't know what it is when you get your hair done you just feel so good so <sighs> I'm a whole new person wait till I get these eyebrows done it's over now I gotta call my father because he's my biggest hype man so I know he gonna hype me up
cottage turned out. It's a little dark. <laughs>